Good evening. Well, you can't see it from this vantage point, but the front end of this bus is actually on the other side of this building. We are talking about potential structural damage to the building. That is why there is that yellow emergency order limiting people who can go inside. And for the organization Skate Like a Girl, that means one less safe space for people to express themselves while skateboarding. Skating is the most beautiful activity I've ever been a part of. And with mentors and supportive peers, skaters at Skate Like a Girl can come as they are. It's a place that empowers individuals, especially young women and trans people. I think that this space was just an absolute gift to have. But Wednesday, the space was partially destroyed after a King County Metro bus slammed through one of the building's walls on Jackson Street in an attempt to avoid hitting a car that reportedly cut the driver off. I'm I'm still in shock that there is still a bus in the wall of a place that I deem very safe. No one on the bus was hurt and none of the 20 plus people inside the facility were hurt either. But because of the damage, programming has been put on hold indefinitely. It breaks my heart. Um, the community has been majorly impacted by this. The building needs to be inspected before the bus can be removed. Because of the safety hazard, daycare, skateboard lessons and other community support services are temporarily suspended, says the nonprofit's director. We're hopeful that we'll be able to relocate at least some of our programs so it doesn't have to be a, a full stop. Right now, Skating Like a Girl is seeking outside help, asking for donations and even a temporary space so that it can get people back on skateboards. We just need a space to continue to be safe for us to skate and have fun for kids and the rest of the queer and trans community. Now, if you'd like to help, we've included a link to Skate Like a Girl on our website. Just look for this story. Now, as for the official cause of this crash, that remains under investigation. Live tonight in Seattle, Dave Detling, Fox 13 News.